Hello, and welcome to Retrobatch, a new batch image processor for the Macintosh. In this short video, I want to give you a quick overview of the Retrobatch interface, as well as how to process images with Retrobatch. To start, let's add a folder of images to the canvas by dragging and dropping them from the finder. You can click on the new node to select it, and that will bring up a preview of the images in the folder over here on the right. We can click thumbnails to preview new images, and we can scroll back and forth to look for a specific image. So in the left-hand column, we can find all of Retrobatch's available nodes. Let's open up the color effect category and add a photochrome node to the canvas. If you drop it next to an existing node, they will automatically hook up together. When we click on the new node, we will see a preview of what the image will look like. We can go back to the read folder to see a preview of what it looks like. So that's the before, and that's the after. And we can, of course, pick a new image from the thumbnail to see what it looks like before and after. We're getting something good going on here. Now we're going to add a watermark node. I'll select and double click on the text watermark node, and that will automatically add it to our canvas. And we get a whole bunch of options for this new node. We're going to select the text and delete it, and use this handy pull down here to add a copyright symbol. Next, we're going to type in our own information. And go over here and change the font size from 36 to 10, and we're going to change it from pixels to a percentage of width. You'll see it show up right there. We can click on a new image and see what it looks like. We could also change the location of the copyright symbol with this handy little widget right there. Well, the last thing we want to do in this example is save our files. So I'm going to drag and drop an empty folder onto the canvas, which lets Retrobatch know that we want to save our files here. It will automatically add a write node for us, and we could change some things about how they are written, such as file name and file type, and we could add suffixes or prefixes, but we're going to keep everything it is and run our workflow. And we see our images showing up in the finder. It's easy as that. 